Dr. Sarah Bunsalal from the University of KwaZulu-Natal's Department of Mathematics Education, along with the team, conducted some very interesting research on maths teachers and their competency when it comes to matric exam papers. She's joining us via Google Hangout to speak about their findings. Thank you for joining us. Thank you, Jerusha. Now, can you give us an indication of what you were researching? Okay, uh, the research was carried out with a group of teachers who were enrolled in an in-service course at our university. And these were teachers who were doing an in-service course in mathematics, not mathematical literacy. And uh, as part of the course, we gave them a competence test where we used the, an exact grade 12 metric exam paper. This was the first paper that we were reporting on. And uh, these were the results that we then reported. It was first reported in the Amalusi conference in April 2012. And then as part of the output of the conference, it was published in the Perspectives in Education journal this year. Uh, for some reason, the media came to know about it this week. So we've been uh, flooded with a whole host of uh, queries and all of that. But it has been around for a while. Can you describe your findings to us? What did you discover? Okay, what we did find was uh, when we took the average of the teachers' marks, we found that the teachers obtained an average percent of 57 in the test. Um, the median was 61%. A median means the halfway, half the group got below 61% and half of the group got above 61%. So half the teachers did manage to get above 61% in the exam. And uh, we found that uh, they, um, for, uh, for any subject, especially maths, we have different levels of questions. Like our first level question is a knowledge question, routine, and uh, easy questions kind of uh, you just have to recall knowledge and then you get a, a level two question which is routine procedures and then going up you've got level three which is complex procedures and level four is problem solving so what we found was that on the level one questions the teachers did very well and as it went up they did not so well in the other levels of the question for example, in the level one questions, the teachers got 84%. The average was 84%. In level two, it was 73%. And at level four, it was only 26%. Sarah, are these findings concerning to you? Yes, it is concerning. It is concerning. And uh, although the sample was small, it was only 253. And in case it, and if we consider, there are 1,500 high schools. So uh, perhaps in every high school, there are two maths teachers teaching at the FET. So these would probably be only about 6% to 8% of those teachers. But it is still a concern. But of course, uh, we know that we have a lot of problems in mathematics, in the learning and teaching of mathematics in the country. All our indications are showing that we have a big problem. And then we have to sort out all these problems. What would be your recommendations to addressing this problem? I think that it is a very big problem and it's a very complex problem. So I don't want to suggest some simple thing that anybody uh, could do. It, it needs a lot of work and it needs a sustained plan. We need, we need something to be put into action and it should be carried over 10 years and people should sustain the plan, implement it on an informed basis. We can't just work in crisis. Or we have interventions, we have students' camps, and we have a whole lot of money taken out for students to go and do revision classes. But in the meantime, we're not dealing with the main problem. So we got to get this team of people and work consistently. I think that the biggest problem is that we have to get our schools to work properly, because we have so many schools that are not working properly which could be similar to hospitals and how the kind of problems they have and how you could get those to work properly. Now, your specific study was focused, as you said, on KZN. 
Is it then not accurate to say that this is an indication of our national standard of education or what teachers are dealing with nationally? Um, I don't want to make any generaliz generalizations beyond my study. But indications are that we have a problem. In the ANA results, for example, in 2013, the average percent in the grade 9 was 14 percent and do you know in the ANA that only 2 percent of learners got over 50 percent that's the grade 9 ANA that there is already telling us we have a problem and one of the issues is teachers content knowledge now for a user who is watching this and who's interested to find out more where was your research published and how can we access the information uh, it was published in the Perspectives in Education Journal in the 2014, uh, Volume 32, Issue 1. So I think if you go on the Perspectives in Education website, and then you could find that article up there. And on a personal level, do you see yourself undertaking more research of this nature in the future? Um, yes, absolutely. We work with teachers. I've been working with teachers for a long time and most of my research has been about teachers. And at the same time we recognize that teachers have a they have a tough job and we don't want to make their job even tougher. So I want to say that teachers need support as well. And uh, in fact, a teacher, there's two kinds of knowledge that I want to talk about. We have content knowledge, the kind of knowledge like this that you pick up at school and you pick up at the university. There is a second type of knowledge that we call pedagogic content knowledge. Knowledge that a teacher needs. Knowledge about how to teach a subject. How to make a, a difficult problem easier. How to take an easy problem and ask a hard question. How to assess. Now that kind of knowledge, Jerusha, I believe you pick it up in school while you're teaching as part of a supportive environment. If you've got a supportive maths team, you share and you learn together. Now what we can see with our research is that is very uncommon. Teachers are working in isolation and we then blame them for the problem. But we need to provide more support to teachers as well. And a lot of my research is also concerning that support to teachers. Well, thank you very much for speaking to us today. Thank you, Jerusha.